that word of blessing amen was that a good word yes watch your language say mind your language mind your language mind your language very important so that we are able to build together um, one of the things that we need to do I'm going to it's important that we study um, the book of Joshua and we study what God is saying to Joshua because I think that there's there are there is a technology or there are elements you must grab from the book of Joshua amen because this is where they were able to take territory as they were moving out Moses had just died and it's an interesting thing when a leader who's supposed to take people into the promised land dies before he takes them there. Amen. So Joshua was left with a situation. What do we do now? But he was equipped enough, having sat under the ministry of Moses, to learn everything that he needs to learn. So it is important for you to um, understand that you are a Joshua in this season. Amen. You are what? You are a Joshua in this season. And this season will reveal what kind of person you are made out of. This season, you can't, <laughs> you can't cheat growth. Amen. You can't cheat growth. We know you are growing because you are reaching a certain, a certain stage in your development. For an example, a child grows or the great stages of a child are regulated by certain milestones. Yes, yes. yes. before a child you understand? Praise God. Yes. So I want you to understand that all those dynamics are needed for growth in your own life. In proper stages. Praise the Lord. Now here is an element that is important all of you must know that you are growing and you must be able to tick the stages of growth and not jump the stages of growth tick them and follow them so you crawl and then you stand and then you sit I don't know which one they do first do they sit first or they stand first they sit then they stand then they walk, isn't it? So you crawl, you sit, you, you crawl, you sit. Or they sit first. They don't crawl first. Really? Interesting. So you sit, you crawl, you stand. When do you run? You walk, you walk, run. You run, walk. As you walk, you are running. My daughter, I remember the first time she started walking, she started running. Because she was very excited that she can, she thought she's falling. So she, she started to walk and then those baby steps were like running steps. As it is in the natural, so it is in the spiritual. You cannot start running before you start sitting, before you start crawling. And before you start standing and then you walk so there are stages in growing the work of God and the first stage is to sit so you must sit under the ministry of the word many people they want to start running please sit amen take time to sit Mary and Martha and even their brother Lazarus 
used to sit at the feet of Jesus. Amen. And Jesus said, Mary has chosen the best thing to sit. So before you start running, sit at the feet of Jesus. Now, the reason why Joshua became effective is because he sat at the feet of Moses. When everybody else did everything else, J Joshua spent time sitting at the feet of Moses, learning, drawing from Moses. Sitting at the feet of Moses does not necessarily mean you are present physically, though that is important. Can I repeat? Mr. Connor, half of you are asleep. Up in London. Ni right? Ni kona ni funa manzi ni funa ntoni break and as funa ntoni right? Ni funa paga ni shell ni ni pen paga mus na shell. I blood circulation right? Ni ya move i kazi ya move. Oxygen ni enough ni tin ni funa volume ya ngo se volume ya ngo ne kungi ni oxygen. Oh enough le ko yonga pa oxygen. Right. So it's important for you to understand the principles of sitting at the feet. Joshua was able, I, said, I made a statement, you can be physically there, but that does not mean you are connected. So there are people who can be physically seated here, but that does not mean you are sitting at the feet. Sitting at the feet is a different exercise. It means engaging. Sitting at the feet of another, it means we are funda, ucheli, ufunukwazu, lambele. You know, I've got sons who are with me daily, who are clueless. And then I've got sons who are not with me physically, who know more what I say than my sons who are sitting with me. Can I leap it? Can I leap it? Can I leap it? Let me leap it. Are you with me? So there are sons who are seated with you, who walk with you daily, who may not be able to engage because they have not connected to your DNA. They don't understand your heart. They don't understand what spirit you carry. But they sit and they listen. But they are like, Dogs, they are like dogs. They are not affected by water. The things that are coming, they don't hear them. And then there are sons who are not physically with you, who follow you. Who follow every sermon you say. Every preaching I preach, they listen to it. My own sons who sit with me on the table. So familiarity is going to cause you not to be able to carry the DNA. And you will not be able to be a Joshua. I want you to understand how do we become a Joshua. We become a Joshua by sitting at the feet of Moses. Let me say this. There's only one Moses. Hello. Hello. There is only, at a given time, there's only one Moses. Because all Moses in Toyabo is unique. Cool. You understand, eh? I mean, to a paramisa, lift up a rod and the whole sea. Don't try that at home. It may not happen. It's only on Moses. So the Moses anointing. It's an anointing that gives a person the ability to do things that it is. When you look at it, you realize this thing is not normal. Do you understand? I'll give an example. That people like Doug Howard Mills, he, he, he's a Moses in our generation. The things he does are not normal. It's not normal for you to come from Ghana with trucks and travel the rest of Africa with trucks and bring them here and preach in a country. Right now, I think he's in Angola. Is, he in Angola. Is it Angola? Where he was doing the rounds. Because he, he did the rounds in South Africa and finished the whole province, the whole country with trucks from West Africa. And then he moves to Malawi. Then he moves to Botswana with trucks huge component a huge contingent of people it's not there uh, that's not normal and when he finishes preaching he flies he goes to the u.s 
to go and do a pastor's training. And then he comes back again. He flies to Australia to go do another pastor's training to come back to Malawi and do other crusades for another week. No. So there's a Moses. Amen. So what does that mean? God chooses a man and he expresses himself through a man to download a pattern. I'm going to say things, you've got to catch them quick because I'm in the Daba mode. So progressive revelation. The things I'm saying, I've not planned. So they're just coming out. So bamba nige. Come on, this is record. So God uses a Moses. Okay, let me say this. Let me track back and say. From time to time, God visits his people. But how does God visit his people? Does he come on two feet and walks here? We won't live. No one can see God and live. But God uses people. So he finds a man. He finds a woman. Who will be able to. He finds a man and a woman. Through whom. That's right. He will express a particular aspect of himself. See Because utiko une aspect as name. Utiko une faces as names. Utiko utiko. That's why I believe the angels keep on saying holy. Every time they say, they say holy. So every time they say holy, the word holy means different or unique. So how many times do the angels say holy? Forever, eternity. So they keep on seeing something of God every day they've not seen before. So they keep on seeing, they keep on seeing an element of God they didn't see before. Every time they say holy, they see something else. So when God wants to visit a people, he chooses a man and then he expresses himself through that individual so that he expresses a particular area, a particular point, a particular grace through that individual so that he will visit a people with that grace. But but who's a long term for man? For like I'm seven, the lamb. I'm seven, I'm seven, so that I be lent. Here's a nice jar. But you go off on a lent. This kind of a shape. Who goes off on a lent shape? For like I can't do it. Even go off. Are you hearing me? So the circumstances, the circumstances of a person's life. In the lawa zalwanga yo. Ingredients of the material that God is looking for, for this kind of a person to express a certain particular flavor of God to a generation. So don't insult how you were brought up. Don't curse the day you were born. And that's not an idea for us, Don't say, yes, na, I life be unfair. No, look at look at another side. There's something God is busy with. Yeguba ne life be unfair. Yeguba yeguba ne zinwa be unfair life. Utiku nenda a a busy yio. And there's a certain expression He wants to give, so that His people will be healed. So God looked for a Joshua. Joshua was from a different tribe with Moses. Moses, I think, was a Benjamite. I think Joshua was a what? Moses was a Levite. Joshua was a Benjamite. I think was from the France was from a Benjam was from Benjamin. Um, that 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 that. So the Levites who were connected to God always covenanted to God, but from a different tribe. Joshua was not from the same tribe. But he was willing to learn from Moses because Moses, God is not going to choose somebody from your own tribe to be your son. Let alone biological. Because sometimes na leo yas tak. Sbanyanzel abantu na babenga babe sit. Mta na tak we kubangu we. When a way so bangu ofunum dana bengu. Mfagum dana gulento ya eko isi leo wena. 
and that's not one if I don't understand. Yes, you will struggle with being you. Now you want your child to be you. It's a problem. Not just in ministry, in life in general. Dan funu ba accountant, but now uza yenzi accountants. Dan funu ba accountant, uza ubona jo uza yenzi accountants. And uza ba charter, uza ba CA, uza ba charter accountant. Ebe si tumta na yena. Ah, mama mnandi ne. The funu ba i i i i i i graphic design. I didn't do not. Graphic done. Uza ba accountant. Chartered accountant. Le why fail I when? Oh, as I why fail I say high school. One end to one is cock. That's not another number. One is cock by a bonage. Gain you means I pass a lay account to Tetbang Umtanak. Umtan Tenga, Umyan Selba, Uza Yenza and lay accountancy. Ufunga food. Can't do sort in Tosako. Uluama Tabi Akong Umtan. Hello. So sometimes we even do the same thing in spiritual things where you find that because you failed in a certain area, now you want your own, you know, disciples to do well where you failed. No, discipleship is duplication. And God's biggest problem is the leader. I'm still on the point of the leader. That's why I'm talking about a Joshua and a Moses. God's biggest problem is the leader. God's problem is not the people, it's the leader. So the, Mo, the Joshua where he was born, his demeanor, his spirit, his attitude. That's why you must ask yourself, Lord, fix me, work on me so that the people will be set free. Because the, prim, the problem is not the people, the problem is me and my issues and the way I'm thinking and the way I process things. That is where the problem is. So today we see Joshua raising up and rising up to become a Moses. But it took a process of God. Everybody say a process. Yes, so God's processes must happen to produce a Moses type of a Joshua. Because what Joshua became, he became a Moses type. Yes, he says, as I was with Moses, so shall I be with you. So I, I on to Inja. It's a lineage. Praise God. The anointing you're experiencing it's a lineage. It's something that's flowing from generation to generation. So this anointing we are carrying, this anointing we are carrying, this anointing we are carrying, I call it God. And I keep on saying this thing and people don't understand. To me, it's such a big revelation. I'm sure Kuni, it's just normal what I'm saying. But to me, it's such a huge thing. This anointing I'm carrying is not my own. <laughs> it's, a, it's a lineage. It's a passed on it's something that was worked on through prayer. So we are not doing what we are doing because, you know, see, I born by sure. No, we are doing it because we have seen, we have heard. It has been told us what the things that God has done. So church planting. So our particular lineage, our particular lineage comes from the assemblies of God. Our particular lineage comes from there. That's our connection. Because that spiritually, that's where we are located. Spiritually. Because birthed my spiritual grandfather, the pastor of my parents. I always say this. It's my responsibility to share this history. Amen. And out of that comes, now when my spiritual grandfather saw the work of God, he said, Ni tata because it's exactly Evangel Lagdala. And I said, I have no idea what Evangel Lagdala is. I wasn't there, but we are just doing what we're doing. He said, no, no, ni bambi. Hile ekate si shumael. Hile ekate si tandazel. So there are certain things we have inherited. So you are walking in the lineage and church planting. It's a big deal in the assemblies of God. It's a given. Hello? So that's our flow, but not only that, signs, wonders, and miracles. If we don't tap into them, it's because we don't want to do them. If we don't do signs, wonders, and miracles, it's because we have not yet learned to grow in that area. We don't have the, we don't have the courage, but the anointing is there, latent, waiting for us to talk on it. 
Hello? Yes, signs, wonders, and miracles. God can use us and great. That's why when you see somebody sick, lay hands on them and pray for them because there's an anointing that flows. Some of the neighborhoods, you will have to open them up with signs, wonders, and miracles because people have heard enough preaching. They've not seen enough of God. Shamakasaya. So they need to see, they need to see tangible moves of God. You need, you need to enter in certain neighborhoods and say, let's lay hands on you. Let's pray for you. Can I pray for the family? Who, is there anybody sick? Is there anybody, not because you trust yourself, but because you trust the grace that you carry. You understand the lineage. You understand the inheritance of the possession that you carry in your spirit, that you've got a grace to multiply. That's why when Joshua went through the river, Jordan the Lord said to him what you saw Moses doing I can do it through you I may change the pattern but the waters are gonna split just like they split it with the days of Moses so there are things that God can do more he can do more now God can do more things now as he did them in the past there are things there are waters that are yet to split there are Jordans in this Cape Town that are yet to open because God is now using you because you carry the same anointing that was there in the fathers it's the same texture don't look at yourself and undermine yourself and say i don't think i have it in me you have it in you not because it's you but because you are aligned you are in the lineage you understand the possession of what you carry you carry it say i carry it Yes, you do. Yes, you do. The fact that you don't use it does not mean it's not in you. Those of you who were in the ACT conference two years ago, you saw our children prophesy. I mean, I was like, what? What a shock. These kids, it was their service. It was a Friday night. And these kids were preaching. These kids were, and they were not joking. We're talking at teens. Yeah? They were prophesying. This guy is saying he was preaching. I mean, I'm like this kid, and this thing is real, and it's yatubulaj. And you hear this kid say, God said to me, I look and say, Oh God, who God? Hey, God. I had to do I had to go. Why? Because they grew up in the stuff. They grew, they can differentiate the voice of God like this. Can I take some time for you faster? Is it my mind? Is it God? These kids, they hear God like that. They say, Dad, God said. From my head, God. <clears throat> so you had a meeting with God this morning. It's like, no, it's not a big deal. It's not like it's a meeting, meeting, but I knew this was God. How did you know? No, I, I know it's God. I know when God speaks like, hey, 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 hey. You understand why it's their inheritance that's why it's important to grow and sit at the feet that's why i always tell the people bring the children let the children sit at the feet because you don't know as the word is coming down what's happening inside of them as the it's a living word when it comes inside their spirit it works inside of them let the that's why jesus said allow the children to come unto me so 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 joshua was sitting at the feet of moses that's why when it was time for so Moses to go, God had no problems. God gave Moses early retirement because Joshua was ready. Now I said to you yesterday, the Moses season is your first phase, this house. You are now in a Joshua season, second phase. What does that mean? It means there's a way you must see things. There's a way you must understand things. There's a way you must take territory. If you read that whole book of Joshua, especially those beginning chapters, after chapter one, they go to chapter two, spying the land. Where does Moses get, where does Joshua get spying the land? Where Rahab hides the spies. Hello? 
Moses did the same thing in Numbers 13. When they were spying the land. So, where did Joshua get the pattern of spying the land? From Moses. Sibolath. Shibolath. He did the same thing. He just said, okay, now I know how we take territories. We spy. Ring a bell. Washington, D.C. rings a bell. We spy. How do we take a land? We spy. So, how go to go to hey, and tell you, how am the man you have a lot long up a taka start? That's not be taka start, it's somewhere in the eastern Cape, must they? Taka start. Gap a taka start. You spy. Usbuzba, he taka start at ten. Ugusha, Ugungena, what we taka start, Utba, Ute to teen, Uba, Guam up. I don't know how. Do you not understand what I'm saying? Yes. That's how you must think. You must think promotion. Hey, I'm full of this bad news. Promotion. But in the houting, you and husbands are outing. And husbands are cons are people. Who tell you your cons? Who are your cons, sir? Man, 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 man. Did you pin the lantern? Did you? And I've learned that. Yes, food is the Fumani promotion. Couldn't don't don't position a ten tennis doodler. Gapanga se how din ka can do you tad of a logo is and the coupe kawe. Wow. Wow. What a myopic way of thinking. What a what a short sighted way. Kutanga tumba, we are tuned. I can't do disconnect and as a kawe. We are tuned. To go and do what? Spy the land. The first principle you must learn about taking territory is how to spy the land. We need to learn how to spy the land. The people, the land, the economy, the cities. You spy everything about it. When you get the land and you see how it operates, you are able to understand the mindset that informs the people. Mandinga Epa is another teaching for another day. Are you hearing what I'm saying? But it's important. So Joshua did exactly what Moses did. What did Moses do? He sent the spies. What did Joshua do? He sent the spies. And the difference is, the spies is got Moses. Zabwe is intensity as quas. But the, mo the, the spies that Joshua sent, Bebe Sebenke Ekwabo as quas. Mabaham, Abo as quas. Because Do you understand what I'm saying? Yeah, there are people who must, who must, the system must kick them out. Yeah, but system. Hello? Yes, yes. There are people, there is a, there is a generation that was in the wilderness that was rebellious. God said, I will wait them out until they all die. Kumbulotiko is the ancient of days. So God has been here. Uh, to God, a hundred years is, is just a second. So it's nothing. Split seconds being alive. Utumdala. Because to God, a day is a thousand years. And a thousand. So God can wait you out and raise your children. God forbid. Not in my generation. Raise us, Lord. Raise us, Lord. Raise us, Lord. Raise us in our generation. Raise us, Lord, in our generation. I don't want to get to heaven and realize such a game. And okay. So that's your point. Uti baundi akela. Uti kagupi. Geng jenge stole zok. Ataike. Kabu chata. Kabu hoyum chat. Makin kange labani. Aba chati le njengao. Bata bati ewe. 
because uti kwa guyo kupumcha atoms kutene siza kukumba kaya zba uchati uti kwa umusu guyo kuplese nga bantana bangi uya baba wana futu bangi kukumba kaya zba bangi nga bantana zba guyo kupabona waza kuhu ekribu kupabantu wana bangi kukumba kaya chata na waka babon baba nga bantana Hello. Don't you think that there's a logic behind how God operates? That God says, I need you to work while your kids are still babies because as they grow, you won't have time. I need to work while you are babeleka, ungeni sikweko nishumayele, ubabelekile because kabe sibe badala, au zuba nekresha, uza usebenza abantwana. Siya ba sebenza, si sebenza abantwana, si pangel abantwana. If munga yas, most of you who've got Abantuana abane after care, after class, ne after homework, ne after sports, ne after everything is after. Not sure what they are doing during. You, you, everything is after. Everything is after everything. And that after is your time. You understand? So seven zabantu next senu seven zabona ufigan chem seven zuni abuli sa talk. Then your phone you're like says Pumeli Scott. Two hours. Says Pumeli Scott. Okay, dear. lunch. Battle through traffic. Boom. Drop aftercare. Amen. So when there were babies, God said, go and do the assignment because he knew at that time you can manage them. But as they grow, you can't manage them. Do you understand? So that's why God came. So when God visits you and God says, go, you must go. You must not think, Lord, it's not time. It's part of his strategy, Sake. Because that data could be a Smith Lungsworth. It could be a Smith Wittlesworth. You know Smith Wittlesworth, a mighty man of God, was used by God to raise many people from the dead. Used to beat his wife up, hating the gospel. What he was so sold out for God. He believed the while he believed what the Bible when the Bible says you will raise the dead. He went to raise people from the dead. What must go by believe He would get would get into a mortuary. I need that box open. I just need to exercise. I need to see if this thing works. Atati cops. I beg against the wall. And in the name of Jesus, live! He did that thing until he perfected it. Next time he said, in the name of Jesus, the thing walked. He said, yeah! <laughs> That's it. When I say a pillar, maybe say, and I'm going to funer a pili, because Galogum say, Kube Jepa, boom, now get a pill. Call the family, the man is alive. Next. That's why when his wife died, he raised his wife from the dead. He prayed. What we go, because what Yan Sokoli said, or Doctor Kutua Yandi be his up and him Nangok said, send the window a powerful pago mantipa, unsapi. So he gained so much. That is the same wife he beat up. We are in a generation. 
We don't have a tenacity. We don't have that tenacity. We don't have my my if we are going to fail, which we will not, let's fail having fought. Hallelujah. So Joshua saw the pattern of Moses and he did what Moses did. They sent the spies. The spies got Joshua came back and they said, it's possible. And God gave them instruction. Clear instruction if you read Joshua. And go Joshua 3, Joshua 4. Instructions of how to take the Canaan land. The Bible, I mean the land of Jericho. Go seven times. The prayer we know. Go seven times. You know, uh, each time, one time every day. One time every Instructions are important. Everybody say instructions are important. Say it again. Instructions are important. Say it again. Instructions are important. So while you are doing cell, listen to God's instructions. While you are running a campus, listen to God's instructions. While you are running the zone, listen to God's instructions. Utunutiko yenza endu tukati mawi yenze landela into utikati mawi landela. Instructions are important. Praise God. And so we know the story of Jericho. But the, the story that I love, the story that I love in the journey of Joshua, because that's where, that's where my heart is at. Uh, in the story of Joshua, when you look at Joshua chapter, I think it's chapter 5, let's see. Chapter 6. I'll tell you chapter 7, chapter, I think it's chapter 4. Let's go back there. Because I'm reading the whole book, so I'm just studying that book and I'm just enjoying it. Uh huh. There we go. Let's do this so that we can see where we are. I want the place where he meets the angel. That should be chapter when he said, Are you with us or have you come for our enemies? Right. Yes. So that is chapter 5, verse 13. And it came to pass when Joshua was by Jericho that he lifted up his eyes and looked, behold, a man stood opposite him with his sword drawn out in his hand. And Joshua went to him and said to him, Are you for us or are you for our adversaries? So he, he said, No, but I've come as the commander of the army of the Lord. I have no, I've now come. And Joshua fell on his face to the earth and worshipped him and said to him what does my lord say to his servant then the commander of the lord's army said to joshua take your sandals off for the of your feet for the place where you are standing is holy ground same encounter as moses did same encounter so he comes to this man he encounter Yaga joshua was not the burning bush he encounter Yaga joshua was angelic manifestation but same encounter take off your shoes because the place where you are in is holy ground. Now, Moses encountered a bush burning. And there was a voice speaking in the bush. It was the Lord. Moses, Joshua encountered the Lord himself. Hello? Because he worshipped him. When you worship angels, angels usually stop you. But this one he worshipped, he didn't stop him. He actually said to him, take off your shoes, the place where you are. What does that mean? It means your personal, your personal experience. What I'm about to do, hmm, what I'm about to do has not been heard of. What I'm about to do, you don't know. So, mfundi sukhala, no bully. What God is about to do, you don't know it. Yes, we don't know it. What God is about to do, we don't know it. And your whole team. What God is about, I see yes, Lendo, so, my singer pretending that's say yes. No, say yes, but it's a black youth mock. But see yes, God, but no, I see yes. See a cocktail? I say, Zange, say, clink. But she says, it's Halloween, it's fake dream. So, it's is fake dream. Zange, you can I think? Na ni ni na. But kunom, there's a mastermind. There's a mastermind. There's a there's a must. There's an architect behind the scenes. 
Zange na itumba na mazaba se mtenge. Oko nitenti kuks, 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 kuks ya pipi. Za mtenge yungu. Nine siza mtenge nchelpa. Nisa zbizi kuks. Inkani, kota ni ngaba se mtenge. Oksalai. Anika ibambi ba nise mtenge. Kasi mbegula duwe sisi kri kuks. Nise mtenge. Kasi ni locator kutwa. Ipla mtenge. Hello? Because we don't, in my mind, in our minds, we've not, we didn't plan these things. We did not plan these things. What does that mean? There's an architect. There's an architect. Yeah, Mel? There's an architect. I can't remember. plan, but this is your mind. You thought Paul was it for life. That's it. That's my place. It's socia sienziwa. When you are working in the things of God, you must be a clay in a potter's hands. You must be what? A clay. And you be so flexible. You be so flexible because you have an understanding. I don't live for myself. I live for God. My man, Landu bendi teti zo. Aikagabi, aikagabi iyo. Si ya teguti wakue. Relocate. Ya wana lesi se kuye. Si saku nige zindawo. O saku azu. Fiki ele la kuyo nge. Transport. Yako. Pindu buye lo ekaya. Si sa. Isa sengu game one. And that's not my name. Isa sengu ndoni. Who game one. Kase si kuyo kakle. Kutwa ngotuka wena. Nekaya lako. Kuchuzwe five families. One, two, three, four, five. No mfundis. Number six. So five families with a pastor. Kutwa, we want all of you to relocate to Botswana. Fumani ni misebenzi. Ale profession zenu. Aplayani. E post. Zase Botswana. Because si aplanta e Botswana. Nina. Niba shan. Na lo mfundis wenu. Project here two years. For the whole two years, you are closing down here so that you are applying that site. You are relocating you and your children. You have been chosen because you are moving and extending the work of God to Botswana, the neighboring country. Because as professions as it's a tool, it's an instrument, it's a camouflage. Because souls who was your shumale China, Ungum Fundis. So I'm not a pause and get a gay tea. Good, who are you? I'm a man of God, but Buyela Glock or Duak. Because I'm not alone to up. But go figure China. I'm an engineer. Good, okay. You're going to help us join the team of engineers. But you're a husband when you are an undercover pastor. And that's nobody and diva Because so ze, we build the kawa, we ingum fundis. Kuna ungeno utu when I was kutwa so buya by job, but so buya. But not I'm an engineer, I'm a chemist engineer. I have a engineering engineering profession and I know how to mix chemicals and I have this and that. But it's see I funa leoga got the slogs of funuku builder. Weapons. Chemical dot on weapons, yak fun, nothing at the skills of the house full is house house notice. Utumbaza Ampa Janifan Gale, North Korea. Utumbaza on Kenan Janifan Gale, North Korea. Listen, I'm Kenan get engineers. Amen. That's why now our children are going to be scientists. Our children are going to be engineers. Our children are going to be IT specialists. Why? Be robotics and all these weird careers that are here. Why? Because we've got to send them to nations. Umtana, uileto, but it's a camouflage of a bigger thing. Hallelujah. So we must understand the patterns of God and how God works. He encounters an angel who says, I am neither with you or against you. This is on assignment. 
anything is any lindila ape black heath ilindelo ba nive i instructions ba dizoku ni luela apa as an angel of the lord who's fighting for us in all the territories god has assigned us uyasi kunengelo si esi luela yo because god does not send you unless he brings you a commander because if it's going to be war, you must have a commander. Land of You've got to get the right leader to lead the army to win. Hallelujah. That's why everything rises on that leader. When the that's why they aska bibi pikusa sisa utikusa sizama sisa zameka kaukwa kaukwa zugunotu kule tawa ya koko eno itanda uambio plantanga apa you know about. 20 kilometers away and maybe you know it's, it's it's a good start it's a good start hello it's a good yes we may worship team come by hey the worship team you know yeah same full lane we lem full lane your worship accent mandy a black his takaba again this dark up and full lane see a quaba up a corner cause you are there, because you take raise until level Yes, because we duplicate what God has given us. What Joshua did is exactly what he saw Moses doing every step of the way. Tell us when the Nindo has Yopa. Yes, I leo Ibonekai. Kaufiga na wepa, eh? E kailija, si ai planta musika lija mukdal. Kaufiga na wep, wa kaili kauza planta. Why is the land to be sent so about in Tanzania? Land jela, cells, zones. Uchuba nyulu, uchuba train na ngoguaku. U train we na uchuba train. Duplicated. That's how we take the territory. Hello. So Joshua did exactly what Moses did. Exactly what Moses did. And the difference is, O Joshua, what about Because the Lord said to him, You will divide the land. This land must be divided. I say, This land must be divided into the different territories that God wants us to take. Hallelujah. And some of you hear the word of the Lord. Some of you, God has called you in an unconventional way. There's a way you will do church that we are not even, that we can't, that we can't relate with because it's unconventional, but it's church. Because God will use you in your profession to run a cell within your church will be at work. Yes, your church will be, you'll be a pastor in your workspace and people will know, but now come from this wallet department. Now, yep. Is a big abiswa, it could news church but this is a baby so because we are not called to call we are not called to raise denominations we are called to touch people for God so whatever we call it don't worry about the name function hello don't worry about the name Praise God. Do discipleship. Don't worry about names and titles. Do discipleship. Don't worry about names. Do discipleship. Raise them. Groom them. Nabelungas. I've got a look as our servants as a hotel. He possesses Zako. They need to be discipled by you. Yes. Because something powerful from this, she was sharing this morning. We pray. We have an early morning prayer at six. He was sharing, he says, he says, I may be a subordinate at work. I've got many bosses and lines of command and principles. But when it comes to ministry, they give over to me in the department. Up to HOD, up to Papezul in the national Kutwa Sinom Fundis Kule department. He prays with them, he walks with them, he does many things. 
and they honor him in his office because God set him there as a pastor to shepherd the people. So don't say, I am not this. You are that. Nani who are taking care of children. Please, don't undermine the office of children because you've got destinies in your hands. You are shaping lives for eternity. So God is calling you to follow in the footsteps of what your leader did. Duplication. You just do that. You, Joshua was able because he carried the spirit of Moses inside of him. And the spirit of Moses because that grace, it makes you choose you this day whom you will serve. As for me and my house, we will serve the Lord. Nobody can get it. Because Israel, listen to me. Leadership is part of leadership. Praise God. So don't, don't, but you're by so umtu yam sebenza um prepare um prepare you shepherd the people until God is able to deliver them. Hallelujah. We must shepherd, we must walk with them until God is able to set them free. We must see until God is able to give them the form and the shape. So God's biggest burden is the leader. That's why Caleb said, Give me my mountain. He said, I was there with you. When Moses spoke to us, and when the ten spies said, it's impossible. Now, Joshua, it's me and you. I'm eight years old, but I still need my mountain. Oh, I love that. I would love to still be preaching at 80. We saw a man here, good training, that training we had over the weekend. That eight-year-old boss man, that man, he's 80, but he preaches fire, strength, power. We need to work until there's nothing working. Shamakataya. For God. You work until there's nothing working. Until I see the nations turn to God. Because when you get to heaven, I don't know who said that. When you get to heaven, you're, going, you're not going to be asked. Was it you? You're not going to be asked, what was your career? Each analysis says Zuluin. Tell us how did you get your job? How was it working as a kid? Did you love your job? Also, Buzo Zazunto. If Buzo Lando, Kunagula Kunalapu Yakona, the question What did you do with your job that will give God glory? What can you show that, that shows your gratitude to God for what God has given you? which is a sign of his work in your life praise God hallelujah so it's important that we become like Joshua. Everybody say Joshua. Say it again, Joshua. Yeah. So God is looking for Joshua's. He meets an angel. And he gets an encounter. He says, I've come as a commander. He says, take off your shoes where you're standing is holy ground. I want you to know, team, that what God is doing in your lives, what God is doing in GNCC, is holy ground issues. Let's take off our shoes. You know what does taking off shoes means? It means remove your opinion. We don't want to hear your opinion. I want but I want but I enjoy I'm shamba ite to tini ah ah kubis shango kubes on badat. Don't define it. It's God. Don't unga assess unga define it. Futunga unga ibuzi gutiko. 
si sebenza kutiko, si heli notiko, si hamba kutiko. And that's nobody in the Bible. So God says, take off. Kubimba data zako. That's why difuna nabantua na ababenu. Eh? Niba kulule. Benzu msebenzi katika. Titala abantua na ababenu. Abe niba zalayo. Aba babalega yo apu. Aba mantua na benu. Niba kulule benzu msebenzi katika. Don't confine your children and say to them, what, what is the meaning of that? What the hell about that? What the hell about that? Because Satanists use children. Because children absorb quickly. So you can teach them to fly. They take it quickly. You teach them a song, a flying song. There's flying songs. Teach them a flying song, they fly. Quickly. They don't think. They don't think. They don't think they are doing bewitchment. They think it's adventure. <laughs> What is this? Raise them to become. Raise the children to become what God. So don't. Hallelujah. So it's important that we understand let's build according to the pattern. So I'm very excited about what God is doing here, but we need leaders. Let's work the leaders. Oh, let's work the leaders. Oh, let's have leaders this, leaders retreat, leaders lunch, leaders breakfast, leaders whatever, leaders, work the leaders, let's work the leaders, let's work the, because if we work the leaders, we are working the people. And leaders, work, be, be workable. In fact, as I close, if you want something done, give it to busy people. If somebody has got time, they're not going to do it. If you want something done, and then you choose a Because I don't need it. But you don't need it. You don't need it. Because I can't need it. So call me. I'm going to call you. I'm going to call you. I'm going to call you. So it's important that do not be in a situation where you put leaders aside. You say, hey, people don't have time. Let me not give them too much work. No, give them. When God puts ikama, likaban in your spirit, pray about it and then assign them. Learn to be courageous. Courageously ask a newly married couple. Courageously ask. Excited, honeymoon face. Courageously ask a newly married couple to take on the call of planting a new cell. Courageously. Futunga Jigab Sue. Uti eh, the tala ni relocate. Si 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 sense and that ni relocate si dinitinga pa. Bakon ba ba bak chong ba courageously because the problem is us this why we don't see growth we are not courageous we are not courageous enough to say to Tula Dada can you relocate relocate the position I fumana nasa kofin vab I didn't even know that. 
Wakuti kuti buyele kaya yo kwa kindonga. If God says it, then so be it. And we ask make your papa yay. Cape Town versus Tofimba. Says so by day and night. But I tell you, we must be courageous. Sometimes a person must get a low cut pay because of God's assignment. And we must be courageous to make the ask. The problem that we, the, the reason why we don't see the growth, we are not courageous enough to make the ask. So 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 I mean, God took me and put me in Nongoskazu. I'm a bisho. A bisho. Sounds nice how it is. Bisho. But if you don't want to go to bisho, you don't want to go to bisho. You don't want to go central government district. So it's not the area, it's the person. But if you can, but but all roads lead to Bishon or December. Why? Because there's an oasis. There's a spiritual oasis. It's not about the location. It's about the, the spiritual position. When people get to the church, they say, okay, is there a church like this? Yeah. We say yes. Why? Because the God we serve is bigger than the reputation of the territory. Hello? And go figure what's in there. But the we eldership during, and that's the man telling about, the Ferrasaki Hotel and Gokpaipish. It's a very prime spot. And Bafun built a hotel up. Man, this thing a color could build a hotel up. Yes, you see. Oh, God, hey, I'm showing food to the man. Denial, I need the man. He packed a tick. Linda, look, call along. That's it. This is how we operate. This is, this is how we build churches. We speak them. It Existence. You say it and it manifests. Wangabo ame. Kusabalula, akusubilula. Sisaufan, asusufa, na petele, saunya telanene cons. Kubeb shungu. But we remember, it's not about my cons, it's about the work. Sorry, kugnyatela tsule, masambe, msakrobam, sisanga pambil. Sorry, dugnyatelena, but and it does not, it's not personal. Besi sebens. Sikile na pe kichi. O mama musbae ya zlantwe se kichi. Kak no mtrimpi. Si akila na pa. O mnyunga mazba. O koke pili nitoe nga peliyo. Autu ibon ba. Lentai pila iya nga api. Kai ba mpele umane chikesa. Aya na kwenye amane. Uweza half zongyo. Ka umane. Ako, ako mbisa ikibayo. Ka kleka. Ka uya chikeleza. Uya teta. Nina bada ba sebenzayo. Apa yoni ya teta. Unuma beke ngogo. Nga tu yenza. Ko. So it does a call as a sekichi. Praise God. But Oksalayo. Song as your servants. Talk to the ladies in the kitchen. We have Vela now. She was there. Let's all be vision minded. Please stand. Let's give Jesus a hand of praise. Amen. 
So Father, in the name of Jesus, help us to build according to the pattern. It's the leadership. It's the leadership. It's the leadership. Father, we build this work through leaders. We grow the work through leaders. Can you find a leader like Joshua who was ready to do the work when Moses could no longer run? Father, we pray in the name of Jesus that you grant us the ability, that you grant us the grace to run like Joshua's, to run like Joshua's, to run like Joshua's in the mighty name of Jesus. And God's people say, Amen. Come on, give Jesus a hand of praise and worship in the house.